Submit to the Light's judgment, Vigo. Not many could bear your sins. Hold. She's expecting us. You go. Good luck. Have the new watch commander replace the forces we lost at the mine. So, you've returned. Vigo here tells me you were braver than he. Donin sent a message about it already. Why doesn't Anarius go there to deal with her? The prophecy says the battle will unfold in Hell. That is where the blow must be struck. First, you will be made worthy of a blessing. A holy war cannot be won with faithless troops. Make no mistake, this war is holy. Lilith has brought the eternal conflict to Sanctuary, and Inarius will deliver us as writ in prophecy. Until then, we have our parts to play. Make a pilgrimage to the Alabaster Monastery. Cleanse your spirit. Then we may discuss a blessing. May as well make myself useful. Come by the ruins, south of here. There's a shrine west of here. There's a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin, weighs you down, body and soul, beats the hell out of you. It'll cleanse you, prepare you to stand before the Father. I hope you don't have many regrets, friend. This kind of thing is a lot deadlier for some than others. Watch out, all right? I'll find you at the end. Nothing good. Lost more than a few worthy soldiers to it. But it'll clean you up for Inarius. Rare honor for an outsider. <laughs> if you can call it that. Ah, uh, no. I'm not ready. Not by a long shot. Even if I could survive the trail, there's no telling what would happen in the end. You, though. You have a solid chance. I had my doubts. The priests were always going on about the return of Lilith. But now she's here. Just like they said.
Watcher of darkness, for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light. Lift your sins, breathe deep the cold air. The path to redemption lies before you, if you have the faith to walk it. Creature of darkness, for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light. Lift. Let the ice into your bones. Welcome your pain. For the agony of the flesh is the first cleansing of the soul. Make your faith stronger than any hurt. ready.
small you are. Embrace humility. Accept your place in worship to the Father. For he has shown us the way. Feel how it fills the void within you. Remember, you are nothing without faith. Hold fast to the light and remember. a sinner, but that bribe. Good soldiers died on account of what I did. Is that the kind of man I am? The kind I'll always be. I just... Damn it. I'm praying. Why isn't this working? Oh, you made it. That makes one of us, at least. You heard from Prava? I will. Soon. But enough about that. You're about to meet Father Inarius himself. Not everyone comes back, you know. You'd better. I, I owe you a stiff drink.
Kneel before him, and remember, you are small. Wonderfully small. No, 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 it's not about kneeling. It's about wonder. Oh, the light itself, divinity itself, radiates from that room. Though my flesh is cold and numb, my spirit is warm with reverence. What can we do but kneel? And so he was, until the sweet poetry of the prophecy rang out. To define its message, he pilgrimaged deep into Sanctuary's heart. To meet? Uh, well, I shouldn't say. It pains me to withhold the truth of his light. But I sense it in you, Pilgrim. So I shall tell you. He went to speak with the first of his children, Rathma. The prophecy's true author. He emerged armed with sacred conviction. A holy battle at the center of the prophecy to be won by his blade. He has meditated here for years and years ever since, readying to meet fate head on. How do you know the warmth of the sun, the love of your mother, the beauty of a song? His presence is infectious. It takes hold in the soul. We are a void without faith, an empty well. The pious fill their cups with prayer. Mine overflows with his light. So near, so pure. I am changed. I am nothing. I am better. Isn't it beautiful? No, 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 it's not about... Forgive this intrusion, but... Tell me what you need. I must traverse the Black Lake, and that cannot be done without your blessing. If I've learned anything during my time here, it is that what we're looking for, and what we need, are rarely the same thing. I once thought I could find an end to this war. But there has been no resolution, only more pain. Everything I've done has pulled me further from home, from the place I need to be. This 
This world we made was born from the impossible. And yet, like its creators, it rots from the inside. I... I don't... Lilith has entered the ancient city. With your blessing, I can pursue her. And this world has been wasted on the crusades of the unworthy. I can stop her. Hmm. This audience is concluded. I appreciate that. This will be your last stupid mistake. Brutal. I like it. Blessed are those who bask in the light. 
Let our faith be our armor against the encroaching darkness. Ah, you've returned. Come, let us speak inside. Out of the cold. Not while I'm in town. Yet you stand before me unscathed. I know his ways. That is approval enough for me. In the name of the light, I bless you. May the light flow through you and keep you from corruption and sin. Our victory is prophesied in the heavens. From the Father's voice to my ears, a spear of light piercing hatred's heart. First Lilith, then the Primes. He will deliver us from the eternal conflict. From the Father's voice, from the Father. Vigo and I had a good conversation when he returned. He will do his penance. Trust that he is in good hands. Penitence. In the heaven's eyes, creating humanity was a sin. They cast him down. Now he seeks redemption and the chance to go home. As prophesied, slaying Lilith is that chance. When he ascends, so shall we all. An outsider. I could use your help. A dying knight mistook me for his confessor. He spoke of... sacrilegious things. He said his party of knights found a secret to life eternal. A red chalice. Said the bishop leading them ordered them to drink of it. Deep. He confessed they shelter now in a place he called the Sanguine Chapel. The chalice must be retrieved, and I must leave. Find me at the Bear Tribe camp when you have it. Not much. I couldn't find any record of it. But the knight said it was right under the father's nose, through a side door beneath the Alabaster Monastery. The knight said they found the red chalice in ancient ruins, far underground. It was covered in dust, yet still full of fresh blood. He became... Uh, disoriented after that. I could only make out a few words. Uh, blood sermon. Sin. The man was petrified. Not so loud! Knowledge is dangerous currency here. Someone had to send those knights on that quest. Someone knew what they sought. And if that someone knew I intended to destroy the chalice, 
better people have hanged for less. But the barbarians of the Bear Tribe don't care for church politics. It's the nearest safe place for me now.
more time. I have no potions. Forgive me, Father Ilarius. For I have sinned. I have tasted human blood. Gorged myself on Taken lives to do. Then this the world. I enjoy it every time. Hating myself all the while. I pray in the moments I still have clarity. It is not good for me, like water through a sea. I have killed too many. I can live no longer. Tonight, I seal myself in this cave, so that I might harm no others. In the name of the Lord. more time. Out of potions. Your friend needs your help, but we must be cautious. Here, she wanted me to give you this letter. Dear friend, I do not know how much longer my shaking hand will hold a quill, so I shall be brief. I believe the demon we thought we slew in the sewers was able to escape death by using me as its next host. Please, come to me in Quera's cellar if you can. You're the only one I can trust to help. My life is in your hands. My burden is too great.
Fair trade. My what bags are be? full. That's good salvage.
ready yet. more time. 